Yeah, I just wanted to comment on uh, D11. Uh, in this case, it's an informational agenda. Um, I would think information, maybe some kind of celebration of a win on the Lisalpa's part. Um, but I just wanted to bring to the attention that in this case, this was a situation where parents desired to uh, help their child learn how to read. And when they initiated services at a program that could do that, taking into consideration that child's specific disability, um, this <coughs> district decided to uh, send a letter to the parents threatening them with um, sure, truancy. Yes, and truancy, you know, we all know the laws changed, three days truant. Here, as parents, were subjected to possible fines and jail time. Um, in this all because we want to get our help. We, we did bring this to the superintendent's attention in this case, and he just put the parents back in the hands of the special ed director who um, was posing those threats to the parents. And then that wasn't enough. The district decided to <coughs> file a lawsuit against this family, um, justifying that what they were offering was good enough. But this child is far below basic and will remain far below basic because of this decision by the OAH um, that came down. And so I'm just concerned that I know that Altamoma School District is in the habit of suing parents. I'm thankful that I'm not in that school district. Um, and so this was the case that that was initiated by the school district and <coughs> the parents were, were stuck to have to deal with this. And, and um, it was very unfortunate um, in this case. Thank you.